welcome to gap advisors channel in this video i will discuss an observation relating to in days one in days one deals with presentation of financial statements you may contribute your desired amount for the knowledge obtained by scanning the qr code given on the screen The company has disclosed that it has prepared the financial statements in accordance with India's and other relevant provisions of the Companies Act 2013. This means that the company has prepared financial statements not only in accordance with India's but also in accordance with other provisions of Companies Act 2013. However, the company has not disclosed any information on the other relevant provisions of the Companies Act according to which the company has prepared its financial statements. In this video, I will discuss uh, on this statement. Uh, there are other issues with the disclosure given by the company. I will discuss those issues in later videos. Paragraph 16 of Indes 1 requires a company that is required to follow Indes in accordance with company's Indian accounting standards rules to disclose an explicit and unreserved statement of compliance with Indes. The statement of compliance with Indes would be said to be unreserved if there are no riders attached to the explicit statement of compliance with Indes, the company has attached and other relevant provisions of the Act and other relevant provisions of the Act to the explicit statement of compliance with Indes. Thus, the company has made an explicit but reserved statement of compliance with Indes. Therefore, the disclosure is not in accordance with Indes 1. Further, in this video, I will discuss the reasons for attaching and other relevant provisions of the Act to the explicit statement of compliance with Indes. One of the arguments given in favor of the disclosure is that Rule 4A of Companies Accounts Rules requires a company to prepare financial statements in the form specified in Schedule 3 and India's requirements. Thus, the company has prepared financial statements not only in India's in accordance with India's but also in accordance with Schedule 3 to the Companies Act 2013. No company can make an unreserved statement of compliance with India's because of the requirement of Rule 4A of the Companies Act 2013. Let us understand whether this argument is tenable. Clause 2 of General Instructions for Preparation of Financial Statements of a Company Required to Comply with Indias of Division 2 and Division 3 of Schedule 3 to the Companies Act 2013 states that the requirements of the schedule shall stand modified in accordance with the requirements of Indias. Therefore, preparing financial statements in the form specified in Schedule 3 is preparing financial statements in accordance with Indias. Accordingly, the company need not add other relevant provisions of the Act to the explicit statement of compliance to inform the users that financial statements are in the form specified in Schedule 3 to the Companies Act 2013. Clause 15 of additional regulatory information in Schedule 3 requires a company to disclose whether the accounting has been done in accordance with the approved scheme of arrangement. 
the company is also required to disclose whether the accounting specified in the approved scheme is in accordance with accounting standards. Where the accounting in the approved scheme is not in accordance with a- applicable accounting standards, the company is required to disclose the deviation and explain the same. Therefore, there can be a case where financial statements are not prepared only in accordance with India's but also in accordance with the approved scheme where the accounting in the approved scheme is not in accordance with India's. However, in such a case, the company is required to explain the deviation from India's. Therefore, simply specifying and other relevant provisions of the Act in the explicit statement of compliance with India's will not suffice. Basis our discussions in this video, the following can be concluded. A company need not add other relevant provisions of the Act to the explicit statement of compliance with India's to inform that the financial statements are prepared in the form specified in Schedule 3. Where the company has accounted as per an approved scheme, and the accounting is not in accordance uh, with uh, India's, the company shall explain the deviation when making an explicit statement of compliance with India's. Thank you.